Welcome to this video. This is part three of a series where we are using ChatGPT and other SEO tools to attract passive backlinks to our website. Why is that a big deal? Well, we're going to get into that. Now, the strategies in this video are loosely based upon Brian Dean's SEO strategy. Who is Brian? Well, check out part one of this series, right? Brian Dean, he owned Backlinko and he sold it to SEMrush. And I'm talking about huge amounts of money. That's my speculation. But if you're going to sell something to SEMrush, a website that has hundreds of thousands of visitors a month, you can bet your bottom dollar that it was for a lot of money. And what makes this strategy unique is twofold, right? It attracts backlinks passively and and it ranks on Google. Now, let me quickly share. We are this far in the process. We have three intense charts and that took no time at all. And it's based upon data that was free for us to get. Check out part two of the video if you want to see how we did that. And then furthermore, we have some answers to questions that have search volume behind them. Does Iceland's geographical and environmental situation impact its happiness? Sure does. And we have data to back it up. And the methodology, that was so easy to create. So, so far we have 500 words of this blog article and we're creating a framework but we need to build it out more now we're going to go on the hunt and i'm going to show you why we're doing this look up here iceland happiness ranking what website is ranking for this iceland named third happiest nation this is grapevine.is so that's like an iceland website happiest we've already looked at this one in part two and then cnn so we're going to look at another serp is iceland a happy country yet again this one so we've seen representation for this website here twice let's see what it's all about this is a smaller article i think yeah, look at that. That's not a huge article, but that doesn't matter because it's ranking for some specific things. So what we can do first off, I just want to look at the header structure. Let's go here. Headers. This is called SEO meta in one click. Um, H1, H2 newsletter, Iceland named third happiest country. We're going to learn from that. We're going to learn from that right there. Um, but nonetheless, I want to take this URL up here and let's push it to some SEO tools. Now, there's a few things I'm curious about, and Ahrefs is really good for this, right? So what organic keywords does this specific URL rank for? So Iceland Happiness and Iceland Happiness Index. The volume combined is 20 and 40, meaning that there's not a huge amount of volume behind either of those search terms. That's a problem. And let's take it a step further. Look here. These are recent positions. All right. So this was updated eight days ago over here. And these are, you know, they used to not rank for this. And now they're position one and position three. So now we have to go back to the drawing board. Now we have two options. I have another option. This one here, like I said, in part two, we already did some research on them. This website right here, happiest countries in the world. But that I don't want to do the huge listicle. I know Brian Dean does it. And here's why other people don't do it. Listen to me, because it takes so much work. It's painful. I, what Brian does, if you've seen the first, the part two, right? Exploding topics, you've seen his articles. That's painful. That's why it takes 20 plus hours. I want to do it quicker, right? But here's another problem we're facing. Click here. You can do this for any keyword. Iceland happiness ranking. What does Google think is related to this happiest country in the world ranking? Where's Iceland? Is Iceland represented anywhere? No, it's not. So that's a problem. And what does that mean? Iceland is so, 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 so specific that we might not have the volume we want. But we're not going to give up there. I want to show you one of my best tactics, right? So we're doing another SERP. Why is Iceland one of the happiest countries? So this is a new one. We just came up with it. It was on auto suggest. I ran a couple different keywords. Look at this. 12 reasons Icelanders are so happy. This is a listicle. 12 things, 12 best, 12 reasons Icelanders are so happy. Let's click here. Let's look at this article quickly. Okay. Very, very nice. Now, if we come over here to Ahrefs, we push that URL here. Let's see. Let's go back here. It does it have traffic. Not a huge amount of traffic, right? So maybe not what we want, but look here. It has humongous backlinks to it. Investopedia. We're going to be able to go a bit further with this. All right. Investopedia says the five developed countries without minimum wage. Okay. Let's do a little bit more research. Parade.com. A DR85 says, look, what is it? The happiest people in the world swear by these 30 habits. So all of a sudden, right? It says habits of happy people. All of a sudden, we're seeing what journalists 
want to write about. Habits of happy people. Iceland's a happy country. Here's the habits of Iceland. We're starting to build out our framework. Now we are going to begin some cool things. Check this out. I'm going to take each one of their headers. I like this for inspiration. I just want to know what our competitors are doing. I like it. It's not the end all. And now look, this is our article down here. I showed you this already. But now we have an idea. Okay, Iceland is cool. Iceland is happy. Here are the things we can talk about in some manner. But there's still a problem. There wasn't enough volume to interest me for this topic. I want to combine into a mega article a lot of different things. And we're going to find that keyword we're going to hyper focus. So into Ahrefs, we're going to type in Iceland, just Iceland straight up. And I just want to see matching terms, right? Let's go down here, matching terms. Okay. And you're going to be plagued with like a lot of different stuff. Per month, people type 3.4 million times something relating to Iceland into Google. And how can we sift through this? Now, if we're going to do a listicle, we can include certain words over here. So we can do best, we can do uh, versus, we can do top, versus not really. But let's just try these and see what comes up. So best time to visit Iceland. We are going to find one that really works well for us. Best time, look, because everyone's concerned. Everyone's concerned it's going to be too cold, right, in Iceland. Best time of year. All right, best things to do in Iceland, best hotels. Let's try... Let's try this. We're going to click out of here. We're going to show results and we're going to do questions. And here we go. Here's some really good things. What time is it in Iceland? We cannot work with, but where is Iceland? What to do in Iceland? What language is spoken? This is perfect because remember the website that we are working with is called How Widely Spoken. It's about languages and we're going to parlay this one into it. So let's click on what we want to work with. Um, what continent is Iceland? No. Let's just go. How big is it? Nah. Um, where's Iceland located? What is the capital? Okay, some of these things. So we're gonna take these four and we're gonna fold them into a guide. The guide to traveling to Iceland in 2023. That's what we're going to go with because we can get a lot of different topics, a lot of different keywords. Which leads us to this SERP here, traveling to Iceland, right? Let's just sit here for a second. Auto suggest best time. Remember, we saw that in Ahrefs. It verifies it. Travel restrictions. Is it safe to travel to Iceland right now? Blah, 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 blah. But let's see who ranks for this because this is kind of what we want to, to write on right now. Visit Iceland. This is Iceland.com. This is like their official one. We don't want that or the U.S. State Department. We do want to link to both of these. Listen, those are government websites. This is so important for your SEO. You need external links to show Google you are considering the facts. And you do want, we do want to um, link to these. So I'm going to control click. We're going to reference those later. But let's look here. A listicle. We love listicles. Some of the easiest things to rank for when you're using ChatGPT AI content, which we're going to use AI content, is listicles, stuff like this. 26 things you should know before traveling to Iceland. I love it. Look, I can write. ChatGPT knows about the waterfalls in Iceland. Why? Because the waterfalls in Iceland have been there for like a billion years. Nothing's changed. It's not news, right? National parks, same things. Cities and small towns, same things. So what I can do here, check this out. We're going to parse this out. Let's look. Do they not have it? Darn. So their headers are not on the things they're talking about. How else could we do this? There's a few ways we could do it. We could easily just copy all this. I pressed it to this text file with reader view, right? Pretty darn easy. We can go over here to chat GPT. We can do a new chat and we could say, give me the 26 things. I mean, how hard is this? And just copy and paste. Chat GPT's memory is big enough now where it can do this without a problem. Let's see here. Boom, 26 things, places to see. I mean, this right here, I mean, heck, what the heck? It's doing it for us. It's doing it for us. Jeez Louise. We might be able to use this for the website. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I always work in Google Docs for my, my articles, right? Because all we're doing here is creating a book. I just imagine I'm writing a book. No problem. It's words on the screen. So places to see in Iceland. ChatGPT did a great job just breaking these up. Awesome. I could do external links here right, to these different towns, official links, things to do. That looks really, really nice. We're going to use this. But don't forget, we have these keywords here, which were questions based upon hrefs and volume. And this was from a competitor, these keywords here. I don't want to lose these. We need to fold them in. And how are we going to do it? We're going to do it with uh, Word Galaxy. We're going to have the title be the guide to Iceland for travelers. And then all these headers we're going to write about. But I want to make it more specific. The keywords over here to the right, we can inject specific keywords into this article. And that's very, very important. And to find our additional keywords is very, very simple. So we're going to grab the URL up here. We're going to push it to Ahrefs. 
And look here, travel to Iceland, travel into Iceland. Look, all of these are sorted by traffic and volume. I just have to copy these. This is not hard to do. Things to know about in Iceland. This is exactly what people are typing into Google. Like the data is right here. Let's grab the data, right? Go into Iceland. What is Iceland like? Travel into Iceland. Like that's not hard. So we're going to grab this and we're going to push it toward Galaxy. And just like that, we are ready to rock. We have our headers. We have it all style professional. We're going to do English for the language, of course, article length one, because it's going to be Mondo as it is. Travel to Iceland. All these things will be injected throughout. Let's see how this thing does. Okay, very cool. Here it is, output, big old Mondo thing. We are gonna use this as a basis. And look, keyword phrases, it included travel into Iceland, visit in Iceland, these ones. It omitted these ones because the tool is designed to not force keywords too much, right? That's a very good aspect of this tool. You can tell it include these keywords, but if it doesn't make sense or it feels like it's too much, it's not going to do that. So let's grab this. Let's grab this article here, control A, and let's get to work. And just like that, we are ready to rock. We're not done, but we're getting there. Word Galaxy put us at how many? 3,600 words. It did the heavy lift in force. I'm going to show you so we have a nice intro here iceland the land of uh, fire and ice offers an otherworldly experience that is unlike anywhere else on the earth that's an incredible intro i like that the top 24 things to do in iceland you recognize this portion which chat gbt used off of our parasitic seo based upon the other website moving down what language is spoken icelanders speak icelandic i probably should capitalize that right a north germanic language answer it great we have a lot of keywords throughout here greeting someone friendly with a uh, friendly you know however you say that what is the capital a sense of community like all these things we have to revise these remember because we grab these headers word for word from our competitor right and you can't just have the same header i guarantee you all of this text down here right is unique it's not ripped off from anyone right because it's based upon an llm which has like a huge data set and we have temperatures and all these weird things technical stuff but nonetheless i need to change these headers and let's keep going with it. i'm going to show you how i folded in the data right here iceland's happiness metrics right are icelanders friendly people on this article would want to know right? Are they friendly? We need to build out words here, right? We need to build out words under this too, but this is a perfect um, intro into our data. How does Iceland compare to other Nordic countries? If you're thinking about going to Iceland, did you think about Norway, right? Because we have things here too. And guess what? If we build this article, we probably should build out these other articles too on these other states or countries rather. And then Iceland's social support moving down, which we built out in part two, and then our methodology. This is a heck of an article based upon data. We're gonna give them all some fluffy things to think about. Do these things in Iceland. Anyone can write about that, but let's pair it with data. But this was part three in a series. Check out part one and two, and there's gonna be a part four, of course. So if you like this, please subscribe, like, comment. Tell me what you think. How would you like to see this strategy go? What would you have done different, right? We're using pretty cool tools that make it really quick, right? Remember, Brian Dean and his team, they create one blog post in 20 plus hours. And I'm looking for a way to do it quicker and to involve data to, to make journalists interested in linking to our blogs. So anyways, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.